Hello, everyone. In this lesson, we will learn about the machining of the back of the left vertical plate of the mask rolling machine. In the previous lesson, we have completed the programming and machining of the front of the left vertical plate. The key points for machining the back of the left vertical plate are ensuring the positional requirements between the front and back sides to prevent misalignment caused by flipping the workpiece. Additionally, it is crucial to maintain the thickness accuracy of the two flat sections. The machining equipment used is a CNC 3-axis slash milling machine. First, tool setting for backside machining. Use a vise for clamping, placing shims at the bottom to prevent milling into the vise during undercutting. During actual operation, use a T-shaped optical edge finder to touch the four machine sides of the front of the left vertical plate to establish the machining coordinate system. Second tool setting for backside machining. After rough machining, release the workpiece to relieve the stress generated during rough machining, then reclamp and reset up the tool, setting the coordinate system at the center of the left bearing hole. Understand the purpose of the second tool setting. Since the bearing hole was created during the front side machining, Positioning the coordinate system at the bearing hole center during backside finishing can minimize the misalignment error between the front and back sides caused by flipping the workpiece. Tool setting is essential to determine the origin of the machining coordinate system. The principles for selecting the tool setting point are convenience for programming, ease of alignment and inspection, and improving machining accuracy. Tool setting is a basic skill for CNC machine operators. The proposed process plan is as follows. 1. Overall roughing. 2. Second roughing. 3. Smoothing. 4. Contour finishing. 5. Chamfering. The proposed toolpath strategy is as follows. Rough machining, machining method, cavity mill, Cutting mode, follow the periphery. Finish machining, machining method, planar mill, cutting mode, contour. Now, let's open the UG software and complete the creation of the toolpath for the machining of the back of the left vertical plate. In the last lesson, we completed the machining of the bearing hole installation surface. Next, we will flip it over to machine the back side. First, create a new workpiece coordinate system. Ensuring the Z-axis direction is correctly set. Click OK. Leaving other settings unchanged, Use Cavity Mill for the rough machining. Set the geometry to Coordinate System and choose Roughing as the method. Specify the machining depth and machine to this surface. Click OK.
Some of you might wonder why we don't need to machine further down. Observe carefully, because the front side was already rough machined in this area. Setting the back side machining depth lower would result in air cuts, wasting time. Next, we need to make an additional cut to remove the excess material at this location. Create an operation and select Planar Mill. Specifying the part boundary. Create another operation, again selecting Planar Mill, and click OK. Set the part boundary type to Open, and specify the bottom surface. Click Non-Cutting Moves, set it to Linear, Relative to Cut. Click OK. And adjust the feed rate. Click Generate, then OK. Copy the operation and paste it internally. Reselect the line since their heights are different. And need to reselect the bottom surface. At this point, the rough machining is almost complete, but this area remains because a diameter tin tool is too large to fit. Choose an 8 diameter tool, specify the area, copy cavity mill, and paste it internally. And click OK. Set the depth to this position and click OK. Set the spatial range to use 3D and click OK. Next, Proceed with finish machining. Before finishing, release the part to relieve stress. And then set the workpiece coordinate system to the center of the left bearing hole. Click Create Geometry. Set the subtype to MCS and position to MCS.
Move the coordinate system to the bottom center of the bearing hole and click OK. First, finish machining the top surface. Since there was allowance left during rough machining, it still needs to be finished. Create a 16 diameter tool. Click OK. Click OK. Create an operation. Click Cavity Mill. Select the newly created coordinate system. Specify the cutting area and choose the plane. Click OK. Select Cutting Mode as Follow Periphery. Increase the step over to 80% and set the maximum distance to 10. Set the spatial range to use 3D. Pay attention to the allowance settings. When finishing the bottom surface, avoid touching the sides. Therefore, set the part allowance to 0.5 and click OK. The face finish machining is now complete.